everybody. Uh, Mr. Covey here, and uh, what I want to talk about in this video is kind of like Mrs. Lemke talked about in that intro video. I want to review some actual trigonometry. Okay, so this video and the next one are going to be the two most important videos of the semester. Okay, so please pay really close attention. I'm going to start by reviewing some trigonometry that you know, and then we're going to expand that into being able to evaluate trig functions, which is a big part of this whole advanced trig uh, idea, okay? So first, I want you to look at these graphs, okay? And we got some points labeled, and I want you to find all of the side lengths of the triangle, including the hypotenuse, and if you know what the angles are, specifically this angle in this picture, I want you to fill that in. Okay. If you think you know how to do that, go ahead and do it. If not, I'll do one with you in a second. Okay, so if you want to see me do one with you, now you can listen up. This is an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. Okay, my X coordinate is how far over I am. That means that side of this triangle is three. The Y coordinate is how far up I am meaning this side of the triangle is one. What kind of triangle is this? Good old fashioned right triangle. How would I find the hypotenuse? Ah, Sokotoa, or excuse me, Pythagorean theorem. Come on, Mr. Covey, I'd use Pythagorean theorem. So if I want to find the hypotenuse, I'd do one squared plus square root of three squared equals C squared. Math, 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 math. I get that C is two, okay? I know what you're thinking. Um, actually, no, why don't you go ahead and find the sides for the other triangles first. Go ahead and pause, find all three sides for the other two triangles. Okay, um, cool. So when I'm asking you what the angle is, the angle I'm talking about specifically is this angle right here. You already know that all three of these triangles are right triangles and have a right angle. I'm asking for what this angle right here is. I'm going to use the letter theta for that angle. We use theta when we're talking about angles a lot instead of x. Okay. I'm asking what is that angle? These side lengths, this triangle, is a familiar triangle that we've seen before in geometry in the good old days with Mrs. Snell, Mr. Friedman, legend. Um, it's not just a random triangle, it's not a 29 degree angle, it's not a 47 degree angle. This triangle is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. The side lengths follow the pattern x, x root 3, 2x. Okay, check, they follow that little pattern. Check. So in that pattern, this theta is the smallest angle in that 30, 60, 90 triangle, meaning it's the 30 degree angle. You jump over to triangle C, like that's the same triangle. It's straight up the same triangle. The difference is the angle that we put here in the in kind of like a standard position, right? Like that's the angle that we're talking about. This angle is no longer the 30 degree angle, it's the 60 degree angle. Yeah. So if we're talking about a 60 degree angle, we could put it in on a graph, put the angle in standard position, and we could get a graph that looks like picture C. Okay. Last one, again, it's one of our special right triangles. I hope you're looking at this and you're going, oh, both legs of the right triangle are congruent. It's an isosceles right triangle. It's a 45, 45, 90 triangle. The side lengths follow the pattern X, X, X root 2. Okay. We have these three pictures here of our three kind of special right triangles, and uh, we're going to call these our reference triangles. Okay. The angles are drawn in standard position, and we're going to call these reference triangles uh, because they're going to be kind of like the default ones we're going to reference. And it has to do with uh, identifying reference angles like we talked about the other day. 
So we'll talk, we'll talk about that more. But for now, these three triangles are going to be important as are 30 degree angles, 45 degree angles, and 60 degree angles. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right, let's move forward. So if you look at these three triangles, um, I want to be able to remember how to find the sine, cosine, and tangent of a triangle. Sokotoa. When we talk about trigonometry, Sokotoa, sine, cosine, tangent is what should come to mind. Okay. Sokotoa, remember, is not the name of what we're doing. Sokotoa is an acronym. What we are doing is trigonometry. We are doing trigonometry. Sokotoa is like PEMDAS. It's an acronym. It's not like a math thing. We're doing trigonometry. Um, and when you're talking about uh, the sign, you're talking about a ratio. What is a ratio? A fraction. Okay, sign is a fraction. It is a fraction of what? It is a fraction of one side of a right triangle over another. It is the fraction of the opposite side over the hypotenuse. And that's what Sokotoa is trying to help you remember. Okay. Cosine is the adjacent side over that got new side and tangents the opposite side of the adjacent side. I hope you guys remember this. Cool. Cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent is the opposite side over the adjacent side. Okay. So basically the idea here is picture A is going to be a picture that we're going to use when we're thinking about 30 degree angles. Okay. So picture A is the 30 degree angle picture. This is a picture we're going to come very familiar with. Picture B is a 45 degree angle picture. Angle C is the 60 degree angle picture. Okay. And we're going to reference these pictures a lot. That's why they're called reference triangles. It's going to have to do with the reference angle we talked about. I want you to look at this picture and say for this 30 degree angle, what would the sign be of this angle? Well, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, opposite over hypotenuse. The sine in the 30 degree angle, excuse me, the 30 degree picture for that 30 degree angle is opposite over hypotenuse. It's one half. The cosine in that picture would be the adjacent side or the hypotenuse. Remember, adjacent just means next to. What side is next to this angle? The root three. That's the leg that is next to it adjacent over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So in this special picture, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay. So for this special 30 degree angle picture, the cosine is root three over two. Okay. Okay. Uh, tangent opposite over adjacent, it would be one over root three. And we're going to do a lot of rationalizing the denominator. Remember, rationalizing the denominator means getting rid of square roots in the denominator. Nobody likes square roots in the denominator. So how do you get rid of square roots in the denominator? You multiply by square root of 3. That is the worst square roots I've ever seen. Come on, Mr. Cup. Ah, square root of 3, square root of 3, and you guys get, uh, you get square root of 3 over 3. Cool. So... In that picture, the sine is one half, the cosine is root three over two, and the tangent is root three over three. And that is for a 30 degree angle, this 30 degree angle. Throw out the rest of this chart. Go ahead, pause. Throw out the rest of this chart using these two pictures. Okay, cool. I hope that wasn't too uh, bad. The last thing I'm gonna leave you with is uh, this idea, which you learned in geometry, but, but is always confusing for kids, which is, When you say the sine of this 30 degree angle is one over two, in this case, the actual opposite is one and the hypotenuse is two. But no matter how big or small you made this triangle, as long as it was a right triangle and as long as this angle stayed 30 degrees, if you blew up this picture, and you made this, oh, that was bad. Obviously, this side, 
this side is way longer than root three now. Or sorry, this side's way longer than root three now. And this side's way longer than one now. And this side's way longer than two. But because that angle is still 30 degrees, the blue and the pink are way bigger than one and two. But whatever they are, that ratio is the same in a one to two ratio. So if the blue was 16, the pink would be 32. And if the blue was nine, the pink would be 18. And if the blue was five, the pink would be 10. As long as it has the same angle, those ratios stay the same. I, I know that's a confusing idea, but it's gonna be really important for what we do. All right, that concludes part one. There's a part two video, don't watch it. Or sorry, don't forget to watch it. Of course you gotta watch it, it's gonna be the best. It's the it's the sequel. Sequels are always better than the originals.